So yeah, I don't really know much about the mission, overall mission and stuff. But I'm guessing um, Blood Rain and her friend here is trying to protect the human race. Because once the human race dies, where the hell are they going to get their blood from, right? So they're trying to stop the zombies from killing off all the human race. So it's like a double-edged sword over there. Good thing we're not hypersensitive to holy items like some vampires. Because they got humans wanting to kill them as well. You should be all set. I'm going to leaf through these documents. Maybe I can find something about past outbreaks of the disease. <laughs> so yeah, I guess the number one enemy right now is zombies. For some reason, zombies are always the top priority on enemies list. Nobody likes zombies, it looks like. Got some guns right there laying on the ground. So yeah, gameplay is similar to that game Evil Dead. But you just can do a little bit like jump hella far up here. Do these type of crazy shit. Guess I'm supposed to defend the church. So right now it's just kinda like a attack and defend map, right? Attack and defend map. The hell zombies using guns? Are those freaking zombies using guns too? Oh, oh. Holy shit. And we're fighting in a church no less. Gotta watch out on the back entrance as well. Stand here, read a passage. Buy some time. I think that's a shotgun, right? What the hell did I do? Yeah, bring out your shotgun. My favorite weapon right here. Holy shit, look at that. Look at that 12 gauge. Wait, that's not 12 gauge. That's a double barrel pump action. What the hell? <laughs> the door just opens and closes like a quickie mode. Where the hell is everyone? Stupid door keeps opening and closing and no one's here. Come on you slow poke grandpa. <laughs> grandpa zombie. Grandpa zombie, look at that heck of slow. There. Put you out of your misery. That must have been one of those older zombies. Taking forever to show up. It doesn't look like it has a crosshair thingy. Crosshair. So it's kind of hard to tell where where you're aiming. Nice. Damn. Ran out of ammunition for my shotgun. No more ammunition. Got magnum and I think that's a rifle or something. These zombies are taking forever to come here to eat my brains, so I'm just going to go to them. Come on, you want to eat my brains? Not too bad. The other guy doing. The water is. Look at that water. The hell? They're coming from these. They're coming from the water. I thought zombies are supposed to like rise from the ground, from the earth, but these zombies are coming out out of the water, which is pretty strange. And they have some type of mutated left arm, gigantic squid looking thing. That's it. Looks like on the little mini map on the right corner, you can see like a little blue shiny thing. You guys, that tells you where your objective is. Oh, 
because these are not fully zombie yet. That's how that's how they use a gun. Half zombie, half human or something. That wall stretches across the whole town, 30 feet high. I can see that. So? From what I understood, even the earliest French settlers feared something in these swamps. So yeah, it doesn't really explain like how those zombies came out. But I guess they'll expand more on the story later on. Not that I'm gonna really show it, but not to spoil anything. Showing myself, blasting on his zombies. I chopped up his limb. Oh, I think that blinking red bar is my health bar. I don't know what the hell the orange bar is to the left of the picture on, on the side. I think that's like to activate like a special power or something. It doesn't look like jumping or doing these type of things it uses any energy. So you can do it as much as you want. Come on, frog, what do you do? Got a little random frog right there. Guess I'm supposed to hop on this telephone pole thingy. Like on the tutorial. 